Well, welcome back to Ben Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, I will be sharing with you uh, how I created this uh, Katamari ball. So as you can see, uh, I have also added the shader that works with this Katamari balls. So what is Katamari ball? It's this character from this game. Um, the ball, not the character itself. The character I can also try to make procedurally, but this ball is the ball that can rotate and collect everything uh, in the world basically uh, it's a really funny game it's actually a few years ago from from the great uh, Japanese game designer but anyway the ball has all kind of interesting pattern pin pattern and I don't know uh, I think it's something that's kind of fun to create uh, procedurally so I have <coughs> I have this example of how I created the ball so I started with just an icosphere and up I applied dual mesh turning in, turning the icosphere into more more or less like a hexagon and then I inset it a couple of times and so I can control the shapes but after all this inset and the masking I simply give a materials uh, so this created the balls and then I I have multiple materials assigned into this uh, ball and then for the material that's outside I have this procedural material that's kind of keep changing over time and thanks to Erin uh, Erin Dale to show me an example of the pattern so using the the texture coordinate objects and the length um, from the origin of the objects, I can simply multiply that and snap it to give me this kind of uh, stripes pattern. That's kind of kind of emanating emanating from the center of the the katamari balls, if you understand and what I mean. And simply using white noise or noise texture, we can get a uh, all kind of different pattern. Um, so yeah, I think this is really quite interesting and really just a matter of playing around more with the notes, but that's the really the basic idea. And in, in order for me to bake this, I simply need use uh, something like a, a PBR Baker from Oscar Art. So PBR Baker, you can bake base color, metallic roughness of multiple materials into a single material. So this is how I bake the pattern to create the Katamari Balls um, AR objects. All right, so there you go. That's the Katamari Balls. Uh, very easy to create um, using stretch of notes and cycles procedural shader. I think this is a really nice trick as well. If you make something like a, like a ball, this will give you this kind of pattern. All right, if I actually get rid of this and this. Okay, this is more interesting. All right, so hopefully this is useful. Uh, thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye.